What's up, baseball fans? My brother and I are here in St. Louis to see the last regular season home games of Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina's careers. Last night, we saw Albert hit career home run number 701, helping the Cardinals win a close game against the Pirates. We are back at Busch Stadium for game two of this best of three series. So we are here just about two hours before game time, and this is what it looks like. at the second highest attendance in baseball this year, but it was like today. I can't imagine it would be number one. Two hours before the game, these crowds are thick. They're 20, 30 people deep, and we've been walking for 150, 200 yards, and it's just people. This loves baseball, and it's baseball history, and it loves Albert, and it loves Yaddy. Right here, Cardinals Nation. For today's game, we have all-inclusive tickets at the Cardinals Nation rooftop. That means our seats come with some extra perks, including all you can eat and drink. If you're feeling fancy, they have an upscale buffet, but they also have classic ballpark fare like nachos and hot dogs. And you can get your order delivered right to your seat, so I'm probably going with that option. Plus, there are two full-service bars exclusively for Cardinals Nation ticket holders, which doesn't hurt either. Guys, I'm going to drink more Dr. Peppers than Forrest Gump. Here's the catch. The Cardinals Nation rooftop seats aren't actually inside Bush Stadium. They are directly across Clark Avenue in Ballpark Village. But don't worry, you still get a great view of the action and you will receive any promotional items being given out at the gate. You can get access inside of Bush Stadium, but you won't have a reserved seat. Because Cardinals Nation tickets are not cheap, I'd recommend enjoying the all-inclusive experience as much as possible. If you want to spend most of your time inside the stadium, then Cardinals Nation probably isn't for you. Fortunately, there are plenty of other all-inclusive ticket options inside of Bush Stadium. But I I really think the Cardinals Nation rooftop provides the best St. Louis Cardinals fan experience, and it may be even one of the best fan experiences in all of MLB. Let's get game two started. If you're a Cardinals fan, you are gonna love this first inning. If you're somehow a Pirates fan, you should probably look away now. Brendan Donovan leads it off for the Cardinals. He makes it to second base easily with a line drive down the right field line. Lars Newtbar and Paul Goldschmidt both draw walks. We are only three batters in and we already have the bases loaded. Nolan Arenado's next home run will be his 300. How about a grand slam? How about it? Unfortunately, Nolan Arenado's 300th career home run won't be a grand slam. He quickly gets two strikes and then fights off a slider with a hard ground ball to first. But Diego Castillo fields it cleanly and gets the force out at home. Albert Pujols steps up to the plate. Everyone in Bush Stadium is on their feet. Just a few weeks ago, Albert hit his 16th career grand slam, tying him with all-time greats Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron. Can he do it again? Not quite, but Albert does come up with a base hit that scores two runs. Now he has only three career RBIs behind Babe Ruth. Will we get a chance to see the machine tie the Babe in RBIs this weekend? Stay tuned to find out. Alec Burleson takes a walk. That's the third of the inning and the bases are loaded once again. Corey Dickerson is up. Let's see what he can do with bases loaded. Luis Ortiz hangs a slider over the middle of the plate and Dickerson absolutely demolishes it. 433 feet for a no doubt. <laughs> this is starting to get ugly. It's now six to zero and the Pirates only have one out. Luis Ortiz is coming out of the game. Zach Thompson comes out of the bullpen and manages to get out of the inning without giving up any more runs. But the damage has already been done. That was a fun first inning, but we are just getting started. Spoiler alert, the Cardinals are going to double their runs from here. But before I show you the rest of the game from the Cardinals Nation rooftop, I want to show you the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame Museum. You can tour the museum on the second floor with your all-inclusive Cardinals Nation ticket. We actually visited before the game started, but this feels like a good spot for an intermission. The St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame Museum honors the players and personalities who have had the greatest impact on the franchise, and it gives fans a way to connect and learn about this team's great heritage. It contains over 15,000 artifacts and 80,000 photographs, second to only the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, as the largest collection of baseball antiquities. At the time of our visit, 47 individuals have been enshrined within the Cardinals Hall of Fame. Some of our favorites included... Keith, Scotty, Tony... The namesake of Ozzy Pittman right here. Rock, most lopsided trade in MLB history. Jack Black, the man, Stan the man. 
Mark. Okay, back to the game. The Cardinals hit around the order in the first inning, so Brendan Donovan is leading off again. This time, he is hit by the pitch. Paul Goldschmidt hits it back to the pitcher. Zach Thompson almost makes the play, but he bobbles it and makes an awkward throw to second. Everyone is going to be safe. It's just one of those nights for the Pirates. Nolan Arenado is back up with runners on base. He hits it hard into the right field gap and it one hops the wall. That's Arenado's 42nd double of the year. It scores Donovan and moves Goldschmidt to third. Albert Pujols could tie Babe Ruth for RBIs with one swing of the bat, but he doesn't get anything to hit and takes a walk to load the bases once again. Alec Burleson steps into the box. He gets an inside cutter and muscles it into center field for a single. No play at the plate. The Cardinals score two more runs to make it 9-2. Next up, Corey Dickerson hits a chopper to Diego Castillo. The pitcher covers first, but they can't get the out. The Cardinals have the bases loaded again. This is getting nasty. Yadier Molina is batting. He flares it into the shallow outfield. Rodolfo Castro is tracking it, but he can't make the catch. Unfortunately, that allows the Pirates to turn a weird 4-6-5 double play to end the inning. But the Cardinals get one more run to make it a 10-2 ball game. Let's move on to the seventh inning. After three walks and a wild pitch, the Cardinals load the bases for the sixth time this game. But Andrew Kisner grounds into a fielder's choice at second, and the Pirates get out of the inning. Now it's the eighth inning. Brendan Donovan gets on base with a walk. Then Lars Newbar hits a double down the left field line, moving Donovan to third. With two outs, Dylan Carlson singles on a curveball, scoring two more runs. The Cardinals are now winning 12-3. This is the last Cardinals at-bat I'm going to show you. It really sums up the entire Pirates season. Alec Burleson taps it to the pitcher, but it looks like Diego Castillo just forgets to catch the ball at first. Believe it or not, this is the Pirates' only official error of the game, and it gives the Cardinals their 13th run. It's the top of the ninth inning. The Pirates get a couple of runners on base, but Jason DeLay quickly grounds into a double play to to end the game. It happened so fast, I didn't even catch it on film. The Pirates couldn't even have another at bat. They had to get a double play to end it, so that I missed it. Hey, baseball fans. <laughs> we already did that. That's the beginning. That is the game. The Cardinals are going to win this series. We won the first two already. This one we won really big. It was, what was it? A massacre. I believe the final score is 13 to three. A turkey shoot. Finished the game with a double play. I didn't even get on film because it happened so abruptly. The Cardinals just dominated the entire way. The Cardinals got up early. They stayed up. We had a great time in the game. This is a wonderful experience, I think. If you're ever in St. Louis, if you have the opportunity to do this, I highly recommend it. You'll have a great time, I guarantee you. How many pops did you have? I had a, I had one or two. I had about 15 <laughs> Dr. Peppers. Uh, and I'm feeling each and every one of them. I also had about 12 pretzels. I had a lot, all inclusive here at the Colonel Station rooftop. It was a ton of fun. Perfect game to do this because it was an absolute route, like we said. We come back tomorrow to see the end of this series, to see the last home game of the year from the Cardinals. We're gonna be standing room only, right? We just wanted to get in the ballpark. It was a little pricey to get in, but we got in, we'll be there. We'll see you there. Yep.